Hello, Divine Souls. I hope your day is going well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. So during my pre-shuffle, the Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords flew out the deck. While there was a strong and positive emotional connection between you and this person, there were also some underlying issues of dishonesty or hidden motives. They were withholding information from you. This is what led to choppy communication and misunderstandings in your relationship because the moon also came out. The moon can signify fears, secrets, and deception. When I clarify the Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords, you had the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You guys could definitely be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. There was a significant period of intense emotional and psychological pain on both parts. This breakup was a disappointment, which led to profound discontentment and stress. It's over between the both of you. But what I'm seeing here is that you're trying to move on and they're still holding on. And the reason why they're still holding on collective is because they know that they betrayed you. They haven't forgiven themselves and it's eating them up. They are mourning the loss of this relationship. So let's pull some cards to see what else is going on with this person. You have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you and uncertain of the future. And basically that's what the five of cups is all about. So there's a feeling of loss, regret, and grief. Right now they're focusing on what went wrong. And for some of you, they know that they were to blame. They know their egotistical behavior caused this separation. Your next card is the golden mirror. Narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, and one-sided. Just like I said, they know why you guys separated. They know they were to blame because they were a narcissist. They were self-absorbed. Yeah, they were love bombing you and it was a one-sided connection. But I feel like this person is taking a good look in the mirror. And with this mirror being here, this was your twin flame. You also have not enough. Lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear and frustrations. And that's what I just said. Their egotistical behavior caused this breakup. But see, they were very insecure. And with this card saying not enough, they often made you feel like you weren't enough for them. And you went above and beyond to make them happy, but it still wasn't enough. They were looking for love in all the wrong places. Let's get one tarot card on not enough. Why is this card here? The reason why they sabotaged your connection was because they also felt like they weren't good enough for you. Take it as it resonates. But being that you guys are twin flames, both of you could have felt this way about each other. You have the five of cups that came out again. There was something missing in this person's life. It could have been due to childhood trauma or some kind of abandonment issues. For some of you, there was also a loss in their life when they were younger. It could have been a mother or a father, maybe even a grandmother, a brother or a sister. But something made them feel like they were not good enough. Clarify the five of cups. You have the queen of cups. So for some of you, they had mommy issues. Or maybe this was a relationship that they were in and they never felt like they were good enough. Clarify the queen of cups. You have the devil. Yeah, so this was a toxic relationship that they were either in or they had a toxic upbringing. But I'm seeing addictions here. Clarify the devil. You have the four of swords. So they're healing from whatever this is. Can't make it up. The six of cups. It was some kind of childhood trauma. And they also didn't have a good relationship with their mother. You have the world and the eight of cups. So either their mother walked out of their life or they just felt abandoned in some kind of way. And like I said, with the lovers coming out, this was dealing with a toxic relationship that they were in. Whoever they were dealing with, with the nine of cups, they were in love with that person. But with the nine of swords, it was a very stressful relationship. I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck, you guys. Yeah, you have the five of pentacles here. They were definitely dealing with abandonment issues. That's why you have the card that says not enough. So that's why they were hot and cold with you. This person also didn't have a lot growing up. And they were looking for the golden mirror. For some of you, they were chasing money and they were materialistic. Can't make it up. You have mask. Hiding their true feelings, pretending, and gaslighting you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's clarify mask. 
So here it is, the Two of Wands and the Three of Cups, third party situation. You also have the Hierophant right behind that. That commitment that they were in before they met you really did some damage on their self-esteem. I'm also hearing that this third party was also abusive to them or they could have been abused as a child. There's also something about a priest or a pastor. For some of you, they were sexually abused by a pastor and that was a secret. And I also feel like they were battling their sexuality due to this molestation. So that's why they were wearing a mask. They have a lot of deep rooted issues from childhood that they never heal from. So their behavior had nothing to do with you. They just felt like they weren't good enough for you. You have mirror again. So the first one was the golden mirror and now you have mirror. Mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection and inner wounds. I cannot make it up. Inner childhood wounds. And this is another confirmation that this is your twin flame. With the four of swords coming out, they're definitely trying to heal themselves. Your next card is picture. Looking at your pictures, missing you and nostalgia. Oh, this is making me sad. They're depressed about what happened and they constantly look at your pictures. To be honest with you, collective, I feel like if you gave them a second chance, maybe it's your third or fourth chance. But if you guys were to reconcile, they will never let you go again. They will cherish you. What did I say? You have soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, soul contract, and life partner. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They want to cherish this connection. They want a true partnership now. Yeah, because with the hard font coming out, they know that this is a soul tie. You have mirror and soulmates. You're both thinking about each other equally. Your next card is talking. Awaiting messages, texts, calls, emails, and talking more. So they want to reach out to you. You also have date on the bottom of the deck. And this is what they're wanting to talk about. They want to take you out on a date. They want to wine and dine you. And this communication is going to be coming in quick. You have shock. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany and transformation. This shock is going to be them telling you that they want to see you. Because in your mind collective, you thought it was over. You have coffin. You didn't think that you would ever hear from them again. And you damn sure didn't think that you were going to see them again because this was a tragic ending. I cannot make this up, y'all. You have death. This relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. You thought this relationship was a done deal. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But there's going to be a resurrection. And that's what the shock is. This is going to shock you. Wow, they are really transforming. You have the butterfly. Evolving and growth, next phase, healing inner child and releasing the past. I also feel like this is your energy as well, collective. You have healed, you have released this person and you are evolving and growing. That's why you didn't think that you were going to hear from them again. And for some of you, this has already happened. Yeah, you have heartbroken at the bottom of the deck. They broke your heart. Deeply sad, feeling lost, grieving and despair and breakup. But you have a love call coming in. That's your next card. It says expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you and informing you. There's going to be a conversation between you and this person. And there's going to be a positive resolution. They're ready to open up. They're ready to confess. And that's what I said earlier in the reading. This betrayal is eating them up. Now we're getting to the meat and potatoes. You have the runner. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, letting go, and turmoil. They were running from your connection due to addictions. That's the next card. Codependency, obsession, possession, and emotional block. And that's also why the devil came out. So these are some of the things that they're going to confess to you. They're going to tell you why they ran away. And they're also going to be telling you about some kind of addiction that kept them stuck. So I'm going to leave it here. Let's take this to the extended reading. I'm going to take a look at this runner card. Why were they running away? We're also going to see what is this addiction? And with love call and talking, what do they want to confess? What do they want to tell you? I'm also going to clarify the mask. What were they masking? And to wrap it up, is there going to be a reconciliation? So if you guys would like to purchase the extended readings, it's for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you're free to check it out. All the information is in the description box below. 
If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and lights always.